Welcome to another kit build. Uh, let's have a quick look at this one. It's not got many components. Uh, got a resistor, transistor, capacitor. There's another capacitor hiding down there. Uh, we've got some switches. Um, USB speaker there. There's the switches. That's a, an on off switch. And also, in here, we've got an IC and an IC holder. A bag of screws for the case, USB cable. So we've got a couple of dot matrix um, LED things there. We've got a digital display there. Circuit board. And this will be the box that the final device goes in. This is actually a game. Um, we have buttons for up, down, left and right. IC goes in there, your score goes there, and this is a matrix for the playing actual the game itself. USB in, speaker goes there, and that'll be the power switch down there. So not a lot of components that goes into this. Um, I guess everything is programmed into this chip here. Um, so um, this should be a fairly easy build. Um, let's get started on it. So one thing I've just spotted about this circuit board is that here underneath the IC we've got to put two capacitors. Uh, that's these two capacitors here. Uh, so this one, which is this one here, is going to have to be laid down against the circuit board. Um, and this one's going to have to be soldered quite closely to the circuit board as well because we've got to put the IC holder over them there so the capacitors are going to sit in there so let's have a look at that um, so this um, capacitor here you've got a plus side and a minus side or ground side um, sorry there we go so that has to be put on the board the right way around um, and so the on the board Scroll out slightly. There we go. You've got a very faint, but it is actually on there, a very faint shade, and that means it's the negative side, which is marked on the on the capacitor with a bit of shading on the side here. And also the leg is shorter, so the longer leg is positive. So that needs to go in like that. And once it's soldered in place, in fact, I might bend it beforehand um, just to lay it flat. So something like that. So there we go. So that's laid it flat against the circuit board. So when we put the IC holder on it, it'll go over it like that. Okay. And the other one, this doesn't have a plus or minus on it. It's this go straight on so that can go there and that's a little bit higher than I thought so perhaps after soldering it we'll lay that flat down as well in fact I might just fold it down now there we go so I've folded those down before I've soldered them uh, that might might just clear the IC holder. Mm, it's going to be tight. Let's have a quick look. So this has a cutout on the top just there. And the cutout um, is the same on the circuit board. So let's just see if that pops in place. It does. So the right, as I thought, the capacitor is actually fouling. 
the IC holder. So that can't go that way around, so that'll have to go the other way around. Luckily this one isn't marked plus or minus, so that can sit against there, against the legs of the other one, like that. So let's just see how that works out now. There, that's better. So that will fit in there quite nicely. And just to show you the side view there. So there's the IC that has to be a certain way around, plus or minus. And that one is sat touching the legs, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to short out. So that'll be fine there. Right, I've mounted the circuit board on a circuit board holder here. Um, and I've bent the cables, the legs out slightly. So we can solder those in place. Now the reason why I'm holding them with my finger is because what I don't want them to do is to move that much um, when I'm going to solder them because I need to keep them as flat as possible. So let's give that a try. Right, so I've only soldered one leg at the moment because I want to double check to make sure that these are flat. Now as you can see that the capacitor there has actually moved. So I'm going to hold it with my finger and I'm just going to warm up the solder and see if I can just push that through a little bit more. Okay, let's have a look at that. Uh, and now it's gone wonky completely. So let me just see if I can do that again, so it needs to come, oh it's okay, it's on the leg that wasn't soldered, that's okay, yep that's fine, and that one is still flat against there, so they're, they're okay now, so I can now solder the other legs, it's just a bit fiddly, you just need to make sure that they keep as flat as possible. Okay, there we go. That's got them done, so let's just chop off the legs that we don't need. Okay, so that's them two done. So what else do we need to do? Uh, right, we've got one resistor, which goes up here. Well, that nearly dropped on the floor, so let's pop that one in now. So we don't need to test these because there's only one of them, so it's easy easy to do. legs off and next to it goes a little transistor now if you look at the image on the on the circuit board we've got a round side just there and a flat side just there if we look at the end of the transistor if you can see that again it's got a round side and a flat side so all we need to do is just to match that up with the circuit board so just need to open the legs very slightly then we can pop that in place Okay, now we can just solder those legs in place.
and just slightly bend the legs just so it's it's easier to solder around them. There we go. Great, that's that done. My clippers are going blunt. Let's get the other tear out. There we go. That's better. Okay, so that's that done. Um, speed Connect there. Now this has a plus on it and a shaded side, which is a negative side again. Now on the speaker itself, uh, if we look at that, uh, you can see that it has a plus on it as well. So just to make sure that the plus leg goes on the plus side of the circuit board. So put that in like that. Just bend the legs very slightly, if I can. There we go. Just to hold it in place. And then we can solder it up. Again, just a dab of solder on there. And I'm just going to put my thumb on the side, warm it up again. And just make sure that it's flat against the circuit board. Like that, and we can solder the other side up. There we go. Great, that's that done. So, next thing we need to do is the switch and the USB connection. Right, we'll do the switch first. Just line those pins up and pop it in place. There we go. Now that's not going to move if I turn the circuit board over. So that's okay there. We'll also put the USB connection in as well. That's got a couple of these sort of curly ends on it which will click into place. So we've just got to make sure that we line the pins up underneath and then we can push that in place. There we go. And then the curly side pins will just hold that in place as well. So let's sort that up. The first thing I'll do is just the same as before. We'll just solder one pin on the switch like that. Push the thumb on the other side, warm up the solder. And just make sure it goes flat against the circuit board like it is. Once we know that's flat, we can solder the rest of the pins up. There we go. And we can do the same with the USB. We'll just solder one pin in place at the moment. Like that. Again, I'll just um, hold underneath, warm it up, and just press against the circuit board just to make sure that it's in place and flush against the board. And then we can solder the rest of the pins up. Now you'll see that it's just just the outer two pins on this need soldering, and I'm also going to solder a little blob just to make sure that it, it holds it on the sides. There we go. Because a lot of USB plugging in and out will uh, put a bit of stress on that. So you don't want to do it with just the smaller pins. You want to make sure that the bigger ones done as well. So that's now in place. And so is the switch. So really that's the main sort of components done and um, what we'll do now is put the IC holder on it 
Now, as I said before, what we're looking at is the little cutout just there, which matches the cutout on the IC holder just there. So let's put that in place like that. And just like before, I'm going to hold it on the on the that side. Attempt to solder one of the pins in place. Just get a little bit of solder on it like that. Now it might have moved, so we're just going to hold it underneath with our fingers and just warm that up again. Now you probably didn't hear that, but I did actually go against the circuit board. And we're going to do the same with the one on the opposite side. Just there. I'm going to warm it up again and just push with my fingers the other side. So we know it's flush against the board. And there it is. That's now in place. So we need to solder this up. Oops. Now not every single pin is connected. But uh, just... Um, because this is a, what's called a dual sideboard, so there's wiring on the back side of it as well as the front side of it. We want to make sure that all the pins are soldered because it could be either side that the uh, tracks are on. So just because you can't see wires connected to these doesn't mean to say that they're not c connected. So let's get that soldered up now. Right, the next thing we're going to put on are the switches. There's four there and one there. Now, there's no particular way that these go on. Um, it's just that uh, the legs are a bit springy, so sometimes you have to be careful because they, they tend to spring around a bit. There we go, that's that one on. See that one, I've got the leg bent under. So I'll take that out and do it again. That's better. No, again, that's that leg's just gone bent itself under again. Let's just straighten it out. There we go, just check to make sure you've got all the legs in. All the legs are poking on. Because they're spring loaded, um, you don't have to bend them or anything. They'll, they'll just hold themselves in place. Right.
There we go, that's got all the switches done. So that's all these components here done. That's the resistor, transistor, speaker, switch there, and USB there. We know the two capacitors are in and the IC holder. So the last thing to do is the digital dis displays. The first one we'll do is this one, which I'm going to ooh, assume is the um, score. Hmm, something like that. Um, okay, so immediately I can see that these legs here are bent more than those, so we need to straighten those up for starters. So just gentle pressure with my thumb just to straighten those up. I'm just going to gently just straighten these up as well. Try and get them as straight as possible. Uh, if you can see that, they're all pushed over to one side as well, so we need to straighten them up that way as well and the other side Okay, so the decimal points are at the bottom, so let's see how that fits in. There we go. Just a little bit of jiggling around, that's okay. So it's holding it in place, but it's a bit loose, so we'll do the same as before. We'll just put a drop of solder on one of the legs. There we go, and I'll just push it with my thumb under, underneath. There we go. And that'll nicely hold it while we solder the rest of the legs. Now you can see I'm doing every other leg. Uh, this is just to try and keep the heat to a minimum on the component itself. Okay, so I'm just double checking all those, they're fine, so let's chop the excess off. As they ping all over the desk. There we go. Right, so the next thing we've got to do are these two. Okay, so these are little uh, um, matrix there uh, one two three four five six seven eight so eight by eight so eight eight is a 64 um, okay there's no real indication which is to pin one um, but I looked at pictures of these in the past and I do know that this little nozzle here signifies kind of front so um, the numbers written on here 1588BS and on the circuits are saying 1588BS so I'm going to assume that they go with a pin at the bottom where the number is so let's see if they fit in the legs are slightly out let's just gently bend them in just a fraction. Let's try that again. No, nope, still not having it. There we go, that's one done.
just a gnat's whisker out. Now, there we go. Let's got those on. Let's put them back on the uh, on the vise. Okay, and we can solder those up. Okay, that's that done. Let's just double check to make sure that everything is soldered up. It is. Right, so anything that remains to be done then is to take the plastic coverings off these and insert the IC. Right, here's the IC. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is just double check that the legs are okay, which they are. No damage on those, which is good. Here's my leg straightener, so let's pop pop it in there. Let's make sure those legs are nice and straight. Okay, so as before, there's a little cutout in the top there, a little cutout on the IC holder which marries up to the picture that's on the IC so we know this is the way that the IC goes in okay so those legs are yeah those legs are very slightly out so just need to just gently push against the tabletop just very gently. Let's try that again. Yeah, a little bit more. Right, I'm going to push evenly with my thumbs, top and bottom. There we go. And that's just popped in quite nicely. So double check your legs to make sure there's none popping out anywhere either side. That looks okay. Good. Right, can I use my uh, USB charge brick here? Which is the cable that came with it, USB. Right, moment of truth. In fact, to tell you what, let's just take that off there okay oh 
one's good. So we've got a game of Tetris. Okay. Aha, that's how you change it to us. Ah, so this is a game with snakes. So game one is Tetris. Game two is snake by the looks of things. Game three, oh, that must be the racing game. I said there's a racing game on it. And four, hmm, don't know, let's play four. Oh, it's like a Space Invaders. The counter's working at the top there as well, which is good. Uh, cool. So. So let's try a snake. Yeah, I'm not 100% uh, liking the music. Okay, uh, come back to that in a second. So, right, so I've taken the plastic off the speaker and what we also need to do is take the plastic off here as well okay one bit Yeah, that's a bit loud, isn't it? Oh. oh dear. Yeah, I, I think I might disconnect that speaker later on. Uh, but uh, yeah, that everything seems to be working all right. That's good, that. So the next thing to do is to build the case. So what I'll do is um, I'll record building the case, but I'll do it kind of fast forward because this is the case and it can get quite boring watching this. So that's the main circuit board done. So I'll put that over there safe. Um, put the battery pack over there. Let's have a quick look at this. Okay, so obviously that's the top. 
uh, buttons there, power button there, that's the base, that one, and then we've got the sides there, and that'll be the where the USB goes. So uh, there we go, that was like a, quite an easy build. Okay. Well, that's a pain, isn't it? Oh, hang on a minute. Here it is. Look, it's hiding. It's hiding. I thought I was a button short, but I'm not. There we go. That's better. Oh, I thought I was a button short. Well, as you can see, I didn't get the case completely right at first. And even now, I don't think it's got completely right because it still feels a little loose, particularly in this corner. But there's no... No screw holes here, so I don't know what holes this corner in, but anyway, it's done. So let's just power it up again just to make sure it's still okay. Okay, one, two three four Ooh. ah that looks like a speaker ah 
Ah, <laughs> you can turn the speaker off. So, what's that one then? Oh, that's brightness. Yeah, that looks like brightness because that looks. Yeah, that's brightness for the screen. Ah, so we don't have to have that noise. That's good. <coughs> that's better. Well, there you go. Um, that's uh, working games. That's a four-in-one games console that I bought from Banggood. Um, that seems to be working all right, which is good. Do you have to reset the sound every time you switch on? Yes, you do. And the brightness you have to change. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Presume this Space Invaders type game must get harder as it goes along, but that's quite good there. I quite like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this, the same as my other videos. If you like what I do, please subscribe. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and I shall catch you again soon. Thanks for watching.